Although Krakow has much less congestion than most cities around the world, the limited and expensive parking available in town and traffic jams during rush hours means people tend to rely on public transportation for daily commutes. Getting around Krakow has been made pretty easy thanks to its extensive public transport network. Although there is no subway system in this city, many tramways and bus lines as well as privately owned minibuses cover most of Krakow. Well, that's the only thing I've experienced. I don't ride the buses because I don't know where the heck they go, you know? They're, but they're everywhere, and people are taking them. I was thinking myself the other morning, all these people, dozens and dozens at every stop standing in the rain, because we're, it's been raining a lot lately. But uh, I, I would venture to guess that 60 to 70 percent of the people go to work by public transportation. Maybe more. I really don't know. But there's a lot of people using it, and it seems to be quite good. You can buy the tickets at any newsstand, ticket vending machine at tram stops, or from the driver with a small surcharge. Remember to validate your ticket in the puncher as soon as you board and to keep it with you until your journey has ended. There are various types of tickets available, from hourly tickets all the way through to monthly passes. As for the privately owned minibuses, you will have to pay upon boarding as they do not accept the same tickets used on the buses or trams. Expats in Krakow tend to use either the public transportation or drive based on where they live and their office location. An alternative to both driving yourself or the bus is to take a relatively inexpensive taxi ride. Taxis are plentiful within city boundaries, which you can either hail on the street or call to come to your address. There is a large choice of companies one can call, roughly 15 different taxi telephone centers, each with its own fleet. However, do not expect an English speaker on the other end of the phone line. While there are plenty of transport options, the best way to explore the city is on foot. All the major landmarks are within walking distance from each other and a large part of the city's historic area has been turned into a pedestrian precinct. For more information on transport options in Krakow, check the city guide links below. And of course, feel free to ask your Move One consultant.